one thing that comes out of this point of view is that we think of space and time and objects as the truth and, and our perceptions, our visual perceptions are the truth. But I've been doing evolutionary game simulations which show that true perceptions die or go extinct when they compete with perceptions that are just tuned to fitness. So evolution does not favor true perceptions that actually drives them to extinction. That's evolutionary game theory. And uh, genetic algorithms actually show that uh, true perceptions never even arise. They just never even get on the scene. So that means that we need to reinterpret how we think about space and time and physical objects. And I've proposed this interface theory of perception that says our perceptions are like the desktop on your computer. If you have a computer with a little icon in the lower right hand corner that's blue and rectangular for a file, that doesn't mean that the file itself in the computer is blue and rectangular. If someone thought that, that would mean that they really didn't understand what an interface is about. The blue color is not trying to tell you that the file really is blue. The shape of the icon is not trying to tell you the true shape of the file. In fact, color and shape are just the wrong categories for describing the file. And yet, the interface is useful, not because it's true, but because it hides the truth. And it just guides behaviors that, to do the things you need to do. Write a paper, edit an image, and so forth. So the idea is that space and time, as we perceive them, 3D space and time, is our desktop. Physical objects are just the icons. They're species-specific icons that we've been shaped by natural selection through evolution to have to allow us simply to survive long enough to reproduce in our niche. It's not about truth, it's about having kids. And so that's what it's all about. And we have to take our icons seriously. I mean, the, the big objection to my point of view here would be to say, well, Hoffman, if you think that train coming down the track is just an icon on your desktop, why don't you step in front of it? And after you're dead and your theory with you, we'll know that there's more to the train than just being an icon. And the point is, I won't step in front of the train for the same reason I wouldn't take an icon and drag it to the trash can accidentally or, you know, casually. I don't take the icon literally. It's not blue. The file's not blue and rectangular, but I do take it seriously. If I drag that icon to the trash can, I could lose a year of work. Similarly, we've been shaped by evolution to have symbols like trains, snakes, cliffs, that we better take seriously. That's why we were shaped to have them. Don't take them literally. That's a logical error. Taking them seriously, yes, but that does not logically entail that we must take them literally. And yet most of us have the psychological urge to go from I better take it seriously to of course that means I have to take it literally. And that's the mistake.